What's up guys? Voodoo back again with another 420 build. Soon fall will be here, summer is slowly fading, and it's time to head back to school. Homework, deadlines, essays, finals. Keep your sanity and give yourself an edge up with the powerful PC you can use both for gaming and for getting real work done. Do you even school, bro? Sit back, strap in, kick your feet up, grab your double shot espressos and your Red Bulls, and let's check out this list. CSGO, Overwatch, Dota, you name it, you can run it. This eSports ready machine is gonna be our most power efficient build yet. Consuming a little over 300 watts before our overclock, this console killing magic box of fun comes right in under $500 and is the perfect gift for yourself or a student you know. Get schooled. All right, first up, let's go with my favorite budget build processor and currently the king of price to performance, the Hexacore FX6300. Let's not kid around. This thing is dated and lacks in single core. This isn't an i3-6100, but still, as the name suggests, you're getting six cores running at 3.5 gigahertz with a turbo of 4.1. With its 95 watt TDP, you can easily overclock this thing to 5 GHz. Combine that with 8 megs of L3 cash and a $100 price tag, and you have a real champion of cheap gaming. For our eSports machine, this will be perfect and won't really bottleneck our GPU. We also have a bit of future proofing with the further implementation of Vulkan and DirectX 12. Older multi-core processors like this will get a decent boost in performance in gaming. Up next, our motherboard. Let's grab a Gigabyte GA990FX. This socket FM3 Plus ATX motherboard features the 990FX chipset and is a top-end AMD motherboard. It's got large heat sinks and a beefy 10-phase power delivery system that should allow us a very respectable overclock on our hexa-core. We've got support for up to 32 gigs of 2000 megahertz DDR3. We also have two PCI Express slots six SATA connectors, and three system fan connectors. Throw in a slew of built-in gigabyte features to numerous dimension, and for $71.98, it's quite a deal. Now, let's toss in two 4 gig sticks of Kingston HyperX Fury memory. For a total of 8 gigs with a cast latency of 10 running at a speed of 1866. This memory is great for overclocking and should be able to reach the motherboard's max speed of 2000 MHz. 3898 with free shipping. Storage for our eSports system was a bit tricky. Do we want to go with an SSD and sacrifice size, or maybe a standard hard disk and get a bit more storage space? Let's do both. I've chosen a hybrid SSD hard drive from Seagate. This 7200 RPM, 1TB hard drive features an 8GB SSD as a cache drive and offers decent performance and load times. For $70, it's the best of both worlds and will make a great storage drive if you upgrade the system with an SSD later on. Now, to my favorite part of this build, the GPU. The GPU market is very exciting as of late. Lots of releases from AMD and Nvidia. One particular budget GPU catches my eye above all others. Offering performance surpassing a 950 Ti and an R7 370 with a very low power consumption, the RX 460 seems an obvious choice. This baby is brand spanking new and a great esports option. With 74 frames per second in GTA and 170 in the ever popular CSGO, we can see from these charts, this card is at a good sweet spot for budget gaming. It features 2 gigs of GDR5, with the boost clock easily reaching 1300 MHz, 896 stream processors, and has a TDP of only 75 watts. While they do offer 4 GB versions of this card, the 2 GB version performs just as well. This card will work with just about any power supply and any system, and while it lacks raw muscle, it serves its purpose well. With this kind of performance for so little power consumption, and with a price tag of $118, this may become the new go-to card if you want to grab an old office PC and turn it into a console killer. I recommend this card to anyone getting started or someone who needs an easy, low power upgrade. 
To house all these budget parts, let's grab a Thermaltake Versa H21. I like Thermaltake, and I trust Thermaltake. Plus, this case will match our power supply perfectly. It does have some style as well, and it's not at all gaudy or poorly constructed. Coming in at approximately 17 by 8 by 19 inches, this case will fit a graphics card of up to 12.5 inches, allowing endless future upgrade possibilities. There is also plenty of room inside for storage, with three 5 and a quarter drive bays, three 2 and a half inch drive bays, and three 3 and a half inch drive bays. One pre-installed 120mm rear exhaust fan and two optional 120mm intake fans with built-in dust filters provide adequate system ventilation. It even supports liquid cooling. For only $35.99, this is really an awesome budget case. To finish off this build and keep things cohesive, let's go with a Thermaltake Smart 650 power supply. This 650 watt bronze certified power supply has 52 amps on a single 12 volt rail. 650 watts may be a bit of overkill for this system, but I'm thinking when Zen is released or a few years from now, when you're ready to slap an old used GTX 1080 into this thing, you're going to want those extra watts. Plus, with our total system power draw after an overclock falling right into the unit's maximum efficiency curve, we should be fine. The cables are flat, semi-modular, and quite attractive. No ketchup and mustard here, just all black. $34.99 is a steal for a great power supply. That brings our grand total to just over $420. Alright guys, good luck this semester. Work hard, but remember to game harder. After all, there is nothing better than a few quick headshots after pulling an all-nighter. If you like seeing these sort of videos, please drop a comment below. This is Voodoo, and I'm out. Take care, and I'll see you next time.